Over the course of about the past week, I have talked to many, 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 many people about relationships and the situations that they personally are going through and what I'm going through, and I've kind of been thinking about it nonstop for the past I can't even remember how long because relationships are interesting. So over the course of that time, I have come to some what I would assume to be very rational, logical conclusions. Now the first thing I would like to start off with is distance versus local relationships. That doesn't really seem important to me. I mean, is it really more important to hold someone's hand every day? Or is it more important to be able to talk to them on a level that you normally don't talk to other people? Of course, I'm probably biased because really the only real relationship I have been in was with a girl who lived 2,000 miles away. I didn't have anything set against it. I didn't go in saying, oh, well, this is never going to work. Why would I do this? Why am I so, why am I just being so dumb? And you know, people would tell me that. They would say, why would you do that? That's so crazy. How do you know she's not cheating on you? Which brings me to my next point. You really should just build them on trust. Obviously, if that person is in a relationship with you, they trust you enough that you aren't going to do something totally stupid to ruin that relationship. People are supposed to trust each other in a relationship. That means you can trust the other person not to be going and making out with every single guy they meet. I mean, yes, the physical aspects of a relationship are nice. I mean, I don't think any of us are going to say that we don't like kissing or holding hands or or cuddling or anything like that because frankly it's awesome but it isn't essential I personally would much rather have somebody to talk to about what's going on in my day and to help me get through the tough times and to just be there and listen to me and help me get through everything to have a good time to joke around with it's interesting because we do crave physical contact as people but it isn't totally essential to be happy and if you do find someone who you are happy with, I say go for it. Communication is another one of those things that I think is super imperative in a relationship. If you aren't even able to really talk to somebody, like really talk to them on a level that's deeper than the puddle I splashed in last week, there might be a problem. Now the most important one of everything here and of any relationship are your feelings. Yes, I know that probably sounds really sappy and everything, but think about it, it makes sense. You aren't going to want to be in a relationship with somebody if you don't have those kinds of romantic feelings for them. How do you feel about this person? Do they make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside? Do you really enjoy talking? to them all the time is being with them and talking to them like nothing else you could really kind of describe those kinds of feelings the ones that make you feel super uncomfortable and this is the most important part in a relationship because it is also the thing that screws everything up logic wise seriously folks have you ever been in a case where you go and you can give other people relationship advice and it's really good advice and they're like that totally makes sense because I've been there but I have also been in the situation where I go to other people and ask for advice and normally I think I would give great relationship advice, but not when I am being an emotional wreck. And that is because our emotions influence absolutely everything we do. They influence the way we think, how we process information, what we see, what we see other people do, how we think other people feel about us. Emotions are pretty much what a relationship is about. If you feel romantic feelings for someone and they feel romantic feelings about you, Shouldn't that be easy enough? Now there is also a theory that I personally have, and that is the theory of equality. Which brings us to the theory of equality with relationships. Now I think that relationships are extremely hard to have if all of the relationship is happening on one side. And I, I think it's interesting because a lot of people, they're like, OMG, I love this person, blah, 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 and they've never even met them before. They haven't had a conversation with them, you know? And yes, you can totally be infatuated by someone, but if you really start nurturing those kinds of feelings and everything before you and that person are actually in an even a friendship sort of state, how can you expect anything to work out well when you have all of these super mega intense foxy hot feelings for someone and they're just kind of like you could be a cool person to talk to sometimes. It's one-sided and it tilts the scale to the point where I don't think it could really work. I'm gonna totally take this part out. Now feelings kind of just mess everything up because it takes the logic part of our brain and it just turns it into mush. And I think everybody out there on the internet can agree with me when I say that because feelings just kind of mess us all up as people and we can't think straight and we don't make the right decisions all the time and it's just very, very frustrating. And it's hard to 
determine feelings from us and from other people because when we are succumbed to these overwhelming emotions, we don't think straight and we can't process things properly. We can't determine what the situation might actually be and therefore we don't really know how to act on it. And for me, having feelings for someone just kind of screws everything up because it just makes things harder to process and figure out what exactly the situation is. And then we get into the theory of Newton's laws. Newton stated that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Could that possibly be the same for feelings? If you start to develop feelings for somebody, it is quite possible that at the same time they are starting to develop feelings for you. Obviously something is filling your feelings for this other person and it could quite very be possible that the same thing is happening to them and you guys are slowly being built up on these emotions. Which is fantastic if you knew what the other person felt, but that isn't the case at all ever because your feelings just make you go into giant squids of emotional distraught. Which leads me to the last point on this idea of feelings, and that is stress. Yes, relationships are stressful. I will not argue that, not in the least bit, but they're also really fantastic. I mean, if you get into a good relationship, it's really fantastic. And once all of this is said and done, it comes down to really a gamble. Eventually, someone is going to have to take a gamble with their feelings, and they're going to have to bring them up. Either that or you just don't play the game at all. If you don't take a chance on something, how could it ever be possible? If you don't take a chance on someone, if you don't take a chance telling them how you feel, you really should be able to tell them just about anything, and I think that should include how you truly feel about them. And you know what? If they don't return your feelings, that's fine. I honestly don't think it should freak them out. It might, but I don't think it should. And that's because you're just trusting them with something. Win Kitty! Oh, this is gonna be epic! And I think this is especially true in situations of nerdfighter-like. I was thinking about this, and nerdfighters, we don't like being mad at each other, and we don't like high situations of tension and conflict. I think that I speak for all of us when I say that we as nerd fighters want to accept people for who they are. Whether that's, you know, being a communist or, you know, liking chocolate milk more than apple juice, or if you have feelings for someone. You should be able to look past all of that and still have a great communication with them. Chances are that person will understand that you have feelings with them. But I think that this is the conclusion that I've come to. Relationships can't function without trust, communication, and feelings. And the feelings do mess everything up in your head, but you should be able to trust this person with your feelings. All of them. And if they don't understand, then they don't understand and accept them for it and keep talking. That's, that's what I say. I say some things are worth the risk. Relationships are just bloody confusing. And also people are hypocrites and I should learn to take my own advice.